Pancreatic adenocarcinoma is the most frequent cause of solid pancreatic lesions and the most common tumor of the pancreas. Given its poor prognosis and the major therapeutic consequences, the discrimination between pancreatic adenocarcinoma and other pancreatic solid lesions is mandatory. Endoscopic ultrasound is acknowledged as the most sensitive imaging procedure for the detection and characterization of pancreatic tumors. Nevertheless, despite high overall sensitivity, the specificity and accuracy of EUS for diagnosis of malignancy are low, ranging from 53% to 69% and 72 to 83% in previous studies. Based only on endosonographic features, it remains difficult to differentiate pancreatic adenocarcinoma from other solid masses. Over the past 15 years, endoscopic ultrasound-guided fine needle aspiration has demonstrated its deficiency for tissue sampling and pathologic diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. However, the negative predictive value for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma remains low in prospective studies. Therefore, in cases with a negative result, the choice between surgery and follow-up is difficult. Additional diagnostic criteria are then required. The assessment of pancreatic tumor enhancement using ultrasound contrast agents in real time with imaging specific methods seems useful to improve their characterization either by contrast enhanced EUS or more recently by contrast harmonic EUS. One series has examined the results of the contrast mode combined with color and or power Doppler mode compared with conventional color and power Doppler EUS for the diagnosis of pancreatic tumors. The evaluation of microvascularity by CEEUS was successful, especially for the discrimination between pancreatic adenocarcinoma and inflammatory nodules in chronic pancreatitis and for the detection of small pancreatic adenocarcinoma. More recently, Kitano et al. reported their experience of CHEUS using a newly developed prototype convex array echo endoscope equipped with a broadband transducer that can produce and detect harmonic enhancements from second generation UCAS. They reported that CHEUS was superior to CE Doppler EUS for visualization of microvascularization. In two previous pilot studies using this new prototype, CHEUS had an excellent accuracy and negative predict value for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. In the present study, entitled Contrast Harmonic Endoscopic Ultrasound for the Diagnosis of Pancreatic Adenocarcinoma, a prospective multicenter trial, Ginkul et al. aim to confirm these results in a large multicenter study with assessment of intra and inter-observer concordances of CHEUS for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Here's what they have to say. Background and study aims. Histology is the gold standard for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. However, the negative predictive value of endoscopic ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration for the diagnosis remains low. The aims of this prospective multicenter study were to compare the performance of contrast harmonic EUS, CHEUS, with that of EUS FNA for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma and to assess the intra and inter observer concordances of CHEUS. Patients and methods. 
a total of 100 consecutive patients with a solid pancreatic mass of unknown origin were prospectively included at three centres between July 2009 and April 2010. All patients were examined by CHEUS, followed by EUS FNA. Absence of vascular enhancement at CHEUS was regarded as a sign of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. The final diagnosis, the gold standard, was based on pathological examination, EUS FNA or surgery, or 12-month follow-up results. The final diagnosis were 69 adenocarcinoma, 10 neuroendocrine tumors, 13 chronic pancreatitis, and eight other lesions. In diagnosing adenocarcinoma, CHEUS and EUS FNA had respective accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value of 95%, 96%, 94%, 97%, and 91%, and of 95%, 93%, 100%, 100%, and 86% without significant difference. Five false negative cases with EUS FNA were correctly classified by CHEUS. Inter-observer agreement, seven endosonographers, was good, kappa 0.66. Intra-observer intra agreement was good to excellent, kappa 0.76 for junior, 0.9 for senior. Conclusions. The performance of CHEUS for the diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma was excellent. The good intra- and inter-observer concordances suggest an excellent reproducibility. CHEUS could help to guide the choice between surgery and follow-up when EUS-FNA is inconclusive.